how dangerous are volcanoes in Washington? Well, you're about to find out. And a quick reminder here, we do have five of them, and they're all big. King 5's Glenn Farley tonight on a sobering report just out this week by the U.S. Geological Survey. Glenn, what does that report tell us? Well, it actually tells us a lot, and uh, it also tells us a, a lot about what scientists don't know about Washington's volcano. For example, Snohomish County's Glacier Peak, which is considered highly dangerous, it only has one seismometer on it, monitoring for earthquakes, and it's often swarms of tiny earthquakes that are the first sign of an eruption. The U.S. Geological Survey is trying to strengthen the National Volcanic Early Warning System. And let's not forget May 18, 1980, and the eruption of Mount St. Helens that killed 57 people. Where do Washington's volcanoes rank? Mount Baker, threat level very high, ranking 14th. Glacier Peak, threat level very high, 15th. Mount Rainier, threat level very high, ranking third highest. Mount St. Helens, very high, ranking second highest. Mount Adams, threat level just high, ranking 34th. Adding in Mount Hood, south of the Columbia River in Oregon, threat level very high, ranking sixth. Those number rankings based on 24 different considerations such as how often the volcano erupts and how close they are to population centers. Based on that, Kilauea and Hawaii that erupted this spring covered entire neighborhoods with lavas considered the most dangerous in the, war, in the nation. But reporter author John Ewart says specific rankings don't mean as much as which category they fall in. Small adjustments in some of those variables. Uh, another example, the threat to aviation because of massive clouds of abrasive volcanic ash could mix those race, rank, rankings up a bit. I'll have more tonight at 6.30, including a look back at the St. Helens eruption. So in Hawaii, uh, that seemed like a fairly tame volcano, but you compare that with Mount St. Yes. Helens, about 60 so, people died. Is that apples and oranges? It is apples and oranges because w our volcanoes are what are called stratovolcanoes, and the nature of the volcano is that they explode. So if you remember back to 1980, and again, we'll look at this forward into, uh, uh, into our 6.30 piece, it blew out the north side. It, you know, we had ash that went up, you know, 30, 40,000 feet. It drifted over the east side of the state. And that was with a lot of people pulled, still pulled back. Right. And um, that's part of the warning system that they're really trying to refine here, but they need to have more data. And the Glacier Peak thing is a bit disturbing because they want to put four monitors out there, but it's a wilderness area and the permitting that's creating complications. Okay, Glenn, thanks so much.